way that we were, you know, moving the ball on offense and um, uh, just being in, in those positions. Um, you know, I felt like, uh, that, you know, the guys kept finding me uh, time after time. Also, Derek White, you know, hit some tough shots there too. And, um, uh, yeah, you know, it was just uh, get the looks, knock them down, and that's that. Third row on the right. Al Rohan, Sports Illustrated. Uh, Ime mentioned in the fourth quarter, you guys went small, started switching more, pre-switching more. Uh, obviously, that helped your defense, but in terms of keeping Golden State off the offensive glass, was there anything you did differently in, in that fourth quarter or anything to kind of spark your guys' rebounding? Um, uh, yeah, um, you know, I think that uh, um, we were able to do a better job, you know, with that, holding them off. Um, and, uh, and we have to be better, you know, for next game, making sure that we're not giving so many second chance points uh, and putting ourselves in, in bad positions. And I, I feel like in the fourth, to your point, I think the switching, you know, did help. And um, and that was good for us. Seventh row in the back. Monica McNutt, ESPN. Al, Peyton said you guys knew you were going to make the run, and so that was the mindset. But once you take the lead with six minutes to go, what are you guys then saying to one another? Uh, just continue to play. Um, uh, that was our message throughout the whole game. Um, you know, they're, they're such a good team. Uh, and for us, it was just, you know, just continue to, to, to play no matter what. Um, and, and our guys, that's what we did. Um, you know, it wasn't our best game, uh, but we, you know, we continue to fight and, and find different ways to, you know, to get this win. Tim Bond temps on the right. Uh, Tim Bond from ESPN. Al, this is a, a new thing uh, up here, obviously, being up here with your, your son. Um, I know this is obviously a special moment for you being in the finals. What, uh, what caused you to want to do that? What caused me to want to bring your... Oh, I, it just, you know, he, he just happened to be with me after the game today. He was sitting by the bench, so uh, he, he's here hanging out with me. Um, and uh, and I asked him if he wanted to come up, and he said, yeah, so here he is. Uh, you guys you guys all season now have obviously had a lot of ups and downs, right? And in the second half, it seemed like it sort of encapsulated the way your season has gone. How, how did you guys kind of gather yourselves after that third quarter, which has been a struggle spot, to respond the way you did? Um, yeah, yeah, Golden State really did a good job in the third. I mean, they're known for coming out in the third and being very aggressive. And, uh, and I, I think that for us, uh, the key was Jalen Brown, um, start of the fourth quarter, um, with the way that he came out and played with his energy and uh, scoring, but also then Rob Williams gets a lob dunk. And, uh, and I just think that uh, that was the start for us of something there. And, and it started with that fourth quarter group. And it started the fourth quarter, gave us kind of that boost, that confidence. And, and we just continue to, you know, plug away. Or throw on the left. Jay King, The Athletic. You guys, the last couple of series, you wanted Giannis to shoot threes. You gave up some jumpers to Jimmy Butler. How much of a shock is it to then play against Curry, against Clay, against guys that you really have to be up in their airspace? And how did you adjust to that as the game went along? It's a huge challenge. Um, uh, it's something that we haven't seen. Um, uh, you know those type of guys, and uh, and for us, it's just almost uh, our, our defense is versatile. Um, we have a lot of guys that can defend different ways, and yes. it's been a big adjustment. And it's not easy. Uh, you know, Steph came out, you know, just firing, um, and uh, and we were there, and you know, he was making shot after shot, and. Um, you know, for us, it's just continuing to find ways to, you know, to be better um, on the defensive end. And throw on the right. Al, it's been a journey for you to get to this point. This is your first finals game. I'm Michelle Steele from ESPN, by the way. Your first finals game. What were your emotions tonight in this game? And what does it mean to you to have this kind of performance? Um, uh, you know, just uh, grateful for, for this opportunity. Um, uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, it's just going out there and playing basketball at the end of the day. Like, you know, that, that's just what it is. And just grateful to be in this position. Um, you know, God has put me in this position and it's something that, that I embrace and, uh, and I'm excited about and, um, just excited to be able to share this stage 
with these group of guys. We have a lot of great guys here and guys that have really bought into what we're trying to do. And um, it's just fun to, to see all that come together. We'll take two more questions. Steve Ashburn. Uh, Steve Ashburn, or NBA.com. As recently as last round, Derek White was telling us about how he, he felt he had to tiptoe his way to finding his place within your group. Um, was that anything you were aware of? And what, if anything, did you guys do to sort of make him feel like, yeah? yeah I wasn't aware of that. Um, you know, we, we love Derek, what he's brought to our group, um, just uh, his energy, his commitment to working hard. He continues to work uh, no matter how's it going for him individually. He continues to prepare and we have a lot of confidence in him. So um, uh, thank you for telling me that. I'll make sure I address it. And um, and it's something that uh, he, he just needs to go out there and play. And, and we have the most confidence in him. And, uh, and he was huge for us tonight. Uh, just his confidence, his energy uh, was really good for us. Last question to Robert and first row. Bobby Mannix, CLNS Media. Al, you were with Jason during his rookie, right, rookie year. And did you see the playmaking that he's developed in him early on back then? And just, you know, you've become a playmaker too over the course of your career. Just what does it take to reach that next level as a passer? Uh, yeah, there were some flashes early on. Um, but, uh, but he really, um, it's such a challenge for, for guys like him, you know, those top players in the league that, you know, are expected to, to score, to play make, to defend, you know, all those things. And Jason does all those things. And his playmaking, you know, continued, has gotten better steadily. And tonight it was just, you know, brilliant. You know, he uh, offensively, he didn't really get it going scoring wise, but then he was finding guys. He was, you know, reading the defense and, uh, and it just shows his growth. Um, even from earlier in the year, uh, he just has continued to get, to get better. And he's the kind of guy that he's going to figure it out. You know, one way or another, he's going to figure it out. We put a lot on him, and, um, and he delivers. That's what he does. Thank you, Al.